Right now everybody back to the channel, Mark Rodden in the video, hope you're all well. Um, if you, before we get into today's video, if you could just do us a quick favour, subscribe to the channel if you're not already and like the videos if you are enjoying them, that would mean the world. I've just currently edited the video that's going to go on Friday night, it's just a short one tonight, 11 minutes long, and um, pretty much just answered a couple questions, so if you have any questions as well, get them in the comments down below, and cooked our last Hello Fresh meal, which w it was sad, because they were, I would overall recommend them, I think. I think they're great for, I think to be honest, young, I think they're great for everyone, but I think people, like couples like me and Katie, they are also really like, better than I thought they were gonna be. Um, but Katie, we have done all the washing, Katie's popped this one on here. It is the dark, it's the big load, so. I'm gonna sort that out now. Then we've got the food shop tonight. I think we're gonna have a takeaway tonight, I think. We're gonna have one tonight because, well one, it's the end of the month, but I'm not gonna have anything crazy. I'm gonna have a mixed kebab wrap, which I still, I know it's not unhealthy. I'm not trying to sort of sit there and be like, oh, it's still healthy. But my calories for today, because there's been nothing in the house, because obviously we normally do the food shop on a Thursday, because there's nothing in, I still have 1,960 calories left for the day. Um, yeah, I basically had some porridge and then had some cereal for my dinner. So, yeah, I'm massively behind. And I'm not going to eat anything now because, like I say, in like 20, 30 minutes, we will be going on our food shop adventure. So, yeah, I'm just, we're, we've sort of bit the bullet and said we'll get a takeout tonight. I am, I am going to go to the gym tomorrow and Sunday. I uh, didn't go today. I didn't feel too great, to be honest. I think, I'd, I'd, like... It was weird when I woke up. I didn't just didn't feel the best, so but it was just my stomach. And then I went to work, came back, sat with Katie while she had her dinner. Her dinner looked unreal as well. She just put some chips in, made some gravy, and put some cheese on. And I was like, oh my god, that looks insane. But I was like, look, I'm gonna sort of had a feeling that tonight we'd probably just treat ourselves with you know, the, the basically celebrating the end of the month. Um, of January, I got paid today, Kate gets paid on Monday or Tuesday. And yeah, that's January done. Like I said the other day, it feels like it's absolutely flowing over the support on the channel and January's been absolutely insane. So I carried on from Vlogmas into January with that same sort of energy and just up uploading as, as daily as I can. I think I'm, I did from like January the 3rd until now, there's been a video every day. So yeah, if you like I say, if you're this far in, just do us a favor, subscribe to the channel. I like to sort of think of myself like your favourite YouTuber when your favourite YouTuber doesn't upload because I'm not that big but yeah I'm doing everything I can to get this video out on time like I say I'm not that advanced I'm not that not like your favourite YouTuber who will have everything out on time but I'm gonna empty that now before Katie finishes work and I will catch us in a sec. Right everyone, we are back from the food shop at Aldi. Food shop day came, it was a 37 Katie. 36 or 37 pound, which we did. We are planning on like a cheaper week this week because we're having takeaway tonight. We're gonna get takeaway tomorrow. Um, this sounds really bad, but it is purely because, you were? I know, I was just about to explain, I wasn't. Okay. No, I was Bloody hell. Didn't even let us finish, it's just straight in there, nah. It's not bad. But yeah, it just the reason it seems bad, one is because it's like, oh yeah, shock, they've just been paid to the back of the takeaways, they're gonna be getting loads. But yeah, we are just gonna go, it'll more than likely be like this weekend, but tonight is because we didn't know what we really fancied, because we normally have a pizza on a food shop night, like just a frozen one, but Katie's friends are coming over tomorrow who I'm meeting for the first time and we're just gonna get like a pizza then We are we are just gonna share one obviously. I won't I'm not gonna vlog the night like I'm not gonna have a camera in the faces for the first times and stuff, but um, We are gonna just get a pizza then I have already said to Katie yeah, I'm just gonna share one because I'm well aware that I don't want to just like all the progress I've made this month I don't want to just like It all away for like a couple of nights like I'd, I'd rather just I know what, I'm, I'm fully expecting to put on, but putting on the weight isn't always a bad thing. Like, this week especially, like, I'll, I'll sort of just say, like, I have sort of not went up in weight, but, like, it's just been a, a more of a steady loss this week. So sometimes it is always good, I find, to sort of put two 
like a few pounds extra on and then you find like you end up being lower than ever before 10 days later so it's not always the like the end of the world but I do want to be more conscious with money this month and well this year really when especially when it comes to takeaways and I do want to have more of a healthier lifestyle than just getting takeaways every weekend um but yeah anyways on with the food shop 36 or 37 pound we bought some bread so we got that bread in then we got the pop uh, that's more for tomorrow like you see that's another thing this year I've been really good with I haven't had a lot of fizzy pop at all I've had the occasional energy drink with your sugar free zero calorie sort of stuff like which isn't as bad as like some coke but especially full fat that is zero sugar and no calories so that's not too bad you do wonder what else is in it but milk and therefore the cocktails tomorrow i think we have still got some of them as well you know katie oh well oh that's good yeah we've still got some milk the greek yogurt we got this time from aldi we got some more of these again guys hate to say it your boy's becoming more and more of an influencer because it was nearly empty again today there was one tray left what can i say but we got some eggs which i've been loving obviously you've seen all that sausages bacon some sweetener Roast chicken, peri peri chicken, milli fillets, anything under there, no. Pizza, that is for, I think we when we have some pasta in the week, we're going to have that because we couldn't find the garlic bread. Uh, some potatoes, cheese, oh my god. Remember these, what a throwback. My mum used to get us these all the time in my lunchbox when I was a kid. Back in year five, little fat Liam running around with his fruit winders, get in lads, got these, full of sugar. Absolutely love them. Seen them though, they were like 57 pence or something, so I was like, gotta get them. Um, mac and cheese, went through pasta, meatballs. Dad special that pasta, meatballs. Oh, I didn't actually get them for pasta, but I might have them with some pasta. Get in. Some... Uh, game frozen fish. I'm gonna start changing that up. But I will explain that again later and some cleaning stuff um, Yeah, so I'm gonna pop this all away. I'll get onto the fish now actually and um, I just don't want to keep being like I like being Repetitive and having like a routine, but I, d I did see some frozen chicken fillets to, uh, chicken breasts today That I am gonna put up and I have got some stuff open on the internet that I want to show you as well That I'm thinking about doing and I'll let you know if I do do this But yeah, I'm gonna pop that all the way. Have you ordered food? Katie has ordered food, so I will pick you back up in a sec. Right, everyone, we have just put the shopping away and all that good stuff, but I did just want to sort of reiterate something from yesterday or, like, bring it up again, If because I, I can't remember if I did, so it might not be reiterating or bringing anything back up. It might be explained again. But the solicitor's fees are obviously not the same for everyone. That's, the, like, the first and foremost. Like, what we paid won't be what next door paid, more than likely. Um, and we were in the same boat of, like, asking like the solicitors and like just in basically like in wonderland like what the hell like what's what what are we paying what we're like what we don't know what we're doing or paying 500 pound or paying five grand we don't like we really didn't know but then we found that in our documents the solicitors had actually put in a fixed but that was fixed like a quote and that is what we ended up actually paying I don't, I think they are very much sort of on the side of saying that it can change, that can change. Um, but that was what we ended up paying. It is awkward to sort of explain all this stuff because my situation could be the sa like exactly the same as yours, but it more than likely, like that is like 0.1% chance. I would say it's more than likely always going to be different. Everyone's probably is going to be different. Like say, especially if you're getting like a different house, the, a different area like it, it, it's all gonna be more than likely just so much different so every anything that i've said don't take it as like gospel that like oh he paid that much so mine's gonna be that much that's all i'm gonna say is like it's not it's we found like a, a sum in our documents that that really helped us and that's what we ended up paying and so yeah we'll just keep an eye out for that and then just to sort of help you as i would sort of Definitely save that and then I would probably also save a bit more just in case But the the best bit of advice is just keep hounding them because that's what we ended up doing wasn't it? We just kept asking everyone every time we'd come up to the show home uh, the show homes and uh, what's it called the office the sales office and um, We just kept asking do you have any idea? Um, and then you find out who your solicitors is it an agent? Is that what it's called a office like the actual company? A solicitor 
That's, oh, is that just what it's? Like oh, is that just? Yeah. So like, whoever you, the name is, um, I feel really dumb there. Yeah, the name of the company. Just keep trying to get in contact with them and asking them as well. That's the best way to go about it, I would say. But yeah, we had it in. It was in our documents, and that was what we ended up paying, wasn't it? What was in the document. Mm -hmm. So yeah, just keep. The best bit of advice, like I say, is just keep asking. That's like. That's the best advice for everything when it comes to getting something that's new or like that you're unsure of is just ask. That's what I always got brought up saying as well is just ask. If you're unsure, ask. That's what my granddad always said was, Liam, if you're unsure, ask. So yeah, that is like the best bit of advice I, I would probably give you. Is, um, but yeah, that's probably about it. Just always just ask and... Yeah, like as I've all as I say, what we paid isn't necessarily going to be what you pay. So always keep that in mind as well. Anything I say isn't going to be. It isn't. I think it's like it's not financial advice, and it's definitely not the same. It's just not going to be the same. Yeah, don't take it as gospel. Like I said, so I am rambling a bit because I am a bit like I don't. I just don't want people thinking, oh, what, what, well, what he's paid is what I'm going to pay. Basically, so don't. Just yeah, don't just don't think like that. Just think it will be different. But the the main tips always ask. And we had something in our documents that sort of put us in a rough. Like it was what we paid, but it was also just like a, a guide. that'll give you a good guide of what you're gonna pay as well. So yeah, I'm gonna end this clip now because I am I have waffled on, and I'll catch you in a sec. Right, and everyone, tea has come, and look at the size of that. Damn. Oh, that's as big as my arm. Oh my god. <laughs> it actually is. So, yeah, we're gonna tuck into this. I actually can't wait for this. This is what I've been craving the most in the last month. Now, I've not been really craving pizza or anything. Like you said, we do have frozen pizza a bit. So, yeah, I've been craving one of these the most. I'm gonna tuck into this and I'll catch you in a second. Right, everyone, it is a little bit later now. Um, we have had tea, it was unreal. Did you enjoy it, Katie? Yeah, it was a bit. Good. I have also had a Cal Galaxy Caramel. No, just a Galaxy Rip. Well, not the Caramel one this time. Um, I am also going to make a smoothie now. That is going to be my last thing for today. When I say smoothie, this one is going to be a proper smoothie as well. So I'm going to have some ice cream in it. Um, but yeah, I'll show you that. You know what I put in that and do that. All that good stuff. How many times can you say that in five seconds? Um, Katie is just taking some tablets as well. Not feeling too great. Sorry. Sorry, <laughs> she hates taking tablets and I've just put a camera in her face. So, yeah, I'm gonna do my smoothie. We've done COVID tests as well, just because I obviously told you about tomorrow, our friend coming over. So, we've done some COVID tests just to be safe, anyways. And then Katie said, you felt a bit achy as well, didn't you? Yeah, I've got a bit of a headache. Yeah. I've just got a headache and then it's making me yeah so yeah like i say i'm gonna make a proper smoothie so i'll catch us in a second Right, so I completely forgot to press play record when it started blending, but that with the coffee in just makes it insane. Cause I can't really taste much of the salt caramel protein, but oh, that is insane. I might have another one of them tomorrow or Sunday. I'll see, cause I will be trying to calm down a bit on Sunday after today and what tomorrow will be like um, but yeah it is only 10 past 9 I had like a 3 hour nap before so I will be surprised if I'm like tired um, but I guess we'll just wait and see but yeah I'm going to drink this and then probably start probably just get ahead on the head and 
for this video tomorrow. And I'll catch you in a second. And everyone, typical me style, I did forget to end the video last night because Katie pretty much went to bed at like nine. No, it was like half eight, 20, no, it was, was it nine? Yeah. And then she came back down to her yoga because she, she forgot about that. She did feel a bit better. And yeah, I just completely forgot to end the video. I can't even remember what the last clip was. Was it the smoothie? Yeah, it was. So I hope you have enjoyed. Remember to subscribe if you've made it this far through the video. You might as well subscribe to the channel because you obviously enjoyed the video. So yeah, and I will catch you tomorrow.